Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ladder bracelet. This is what it looks like. And I will be using these colors in the rainbow sequence. And then black for the middle. And this is an intermediate level. And yeah, so we should probably get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your first colored band, mine is red, and you're going to be putting it from here to here. Now take your next color and put it from here to here. Again, I am using rainbow, so that is what you're going to see. And then just go all the way up your loom until you get to here, and then you're going to be putting it from here to here. So, I will meet you at the top. So now that you've gone all the way to the top until here, you're going to put your last band from here to here. Now you're going to go all the way back down again and grab your same colored band that you used for here and go from there to there. Or if you're doing a different pattern, you might want to do a different color than this, but yeah, so just go, sorry, just go all the way up the loom, the same as what you did last time. So I will meet you at the top again. So once you've gone all the way to the top on both sides, you're going to go all the way back to the bottom again, and now you're going to take whatever count from starting from here so one two you're gonna count two up and so it's gonna be these two so grab that same color band mine is yellow the one that's tipping right here you're gonna wanna put it horizontally like that now for the green I'm gonna do it like that again so you're just going to do this all the way to the top again, but you are going to be stopping right here. You're not going to go right here, you're going to stop right here. So I will meet you there. So once you've gone all the way to the top with your horizontal bands, and the last one will be placed right here, you're going to go all the way back down again. And you're going to be placing a color of your choice all the way to the top. So exactly like you did on this side, but all the way to the top. And your, like your last band will be placed from there to there. It's really easy. So, you know, just go all the way up with the color of your choice. I do not recommend that you use... Eh, I do not recommend that you use the color that you used... Um, on this side, use a totally different color, and I also recommend that you use the same color going all the way to the top. So, I will meet you there again. So once you place the black bands, sorry, all the way to the top, you are going to hook only the middle row, not anything else. So, in order to do that, you're going to need to put a cap band on. Now, whatever color yours is ending right here, mine is dark green. You're going to put a cap band on. I already made it, or it just stayed like that. Okay, so to make a cap band, either do it with your fingers. This is how I like to do it. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I like to do it like this. You twist it like that and then put it on. You can also make it on your fingers and then twist it and like that. So, now turn your loom around so the arrow was pointing toward you. Sorry, the arrow was supposed to point away from you when you started. So, sorry I didn't say that. So, go under your cap band. Mine isn't being very nice to me. So, go under your cap band. And then you're going to want to grab the first black band. Hold the cap band so it doesn't fling into your face. 
and hook it forward. Now just hook all the black bands forward and then the vertical I mean the horizontal bands just like push back and yeah so go all the way to the top like that and I will meet you when you're done. Okay so once you've hooked everything in the middle or all the bands in the middle um, you're going to turn your loom back around so the arrow is pointing away from you and you're going to go all the way to the bottom again. And you're just going to place another row of horizontal bands. So yellow, you're just going to copy what you did right here. So green, green. So yeah, just do that all the way to the top. So now as you placed your second horizontal bands over the black, over the middle color, you are going to turn your limb around again so your arrows are pointing toward you. And you are not going to be hooking these horizontal bands right here. You're just going to go under them and hook forward. So go under this cap band like that. Grab the first band and hook it to that peg. Now go under here, grab this one and hook it forward. Now go under all of these horizontal ones, grab that band and hook it forward. So you're just going to keep doing this. Hold on all the way to the top so and then you're gonna start on this side and go all the way to the top so yeah so now once you're done with hooking that side I know this part right here will look very weird it'll like be open on this side and then like closed on that side okay so now go all the way back to your cat band and go under grab the only band that's left and hook it where it should go and just do the exact same thing that you were doing on the other side. So, I will meet you at the top. So now once you've hooked everything, except the horizontal bands, do not hook those, you can now take it off, but do not do it yet. First, you have to put your hook through here. You can either put it all the way Here and then just like pull it off with your hook or you can I really don't see any point of doing this because you're gonna be doing it anyways so why not do it now so now take whatever your middle color was it rolled away okay so again take whatever your middle color was put it on your hook and Pull it through there and attach that end onto your hook. Now for the C-clip. So now put that on that you just made. If you have another way of doing that, this, that's totally fine, but this is just how I like to do it. Now you can pull it off. not coming off okay so now this is your finished bracelet obviously you cannot wear this on your wrist sorry my wrist is not stretched in front of the camera this is one that I made up it's kind of like a half starburst okay so um, so that does not fit around your wrist so you're going to need your loom again, and I'm so sorry that I did not tell you that earlier. That is right, we are not done. So sorry. What are you doing out? Okay. So, for the extension, you're going to take whatever color your middle color is. So mine is black. And you're going to do your extension. And in case you don't know how to do this, it matters how big your wrist is. 
If you have a small kid's wrist, you're going to want to do um, about four to five. If you have a medium kid's wrist, you're going to do about um, six to seven. A large kid's wrist is about eight to ten. If you want it to be really loose on your wrist, then you're probably going to want to do ten. And I like it really loose, really loose, so I'm going to be doing ten. So, yeah, so stop whenever you get your wrist size on there. So, yeah. So now that you've put your size on, you're going to take your cap band. It should be, mine is green, it should be, um, what's the word? The color that you put right here. So... You can either put it on this, like that, and just go under and have to pull those back. Or you can take up another peg and just, like, loop it really easily. So I'm going to do that. So turn your limb around, and you're just going to start hooking all the way forward. It's really easy. It's exactly like the single chain. So, if you don't know how to do that, I am so sorry. So, yeah. So, once you've looped yours, yeah, as you can tell, mine came off a little, but that doesn't really matter because we're just going to be taking it off. So, put your finger right where the loose end is. Then, start taking it off. That was really easy because it was already off. So, now... Attach this end to your C-clip, like that. So now, sorry if that made lots of noise, you can put it on your wrist like this. Yeah. Sorry again if that made noise. I know it did. Okay, so... Yeah, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. This is my ninth video, I believe, and I have other videos. I have easy, intermediate, and advanced ones. I'm going to start doing charms, and if you have any comments on what charms I should do that you might be interested in doing, please comment below. Or comment about anything on how this bracelet looks or how, um, or about anything else. Just questions or anything like that that you might have. So, yeah. So, I don't know what the next video I'm going to be doing is. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, but I don't have a lot of views on my channel yet. Like, it isn't very popular, so there might not be enough people to enter. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that. And then I might do, probably will be doing, a butterfly charm. It's really cute. I actually have one. Here's one of them. It has a little tail. Like that. I have like ten of these. I make them whenever I'm bored. This one got a little messed up. So, you know. Those are cute. So... If you think that I should do the giveaway, comment below and like the video. If you think that I should do the butterfly, comment below that you want me to do it. And, um, and like this video. And, yeah, I think that that is all for today. And if I am doing the giveaway, I'm going to be doing it on name this bracelet right here. So, don't give me your names in the comments, because I'm not going to answer anything like that. So, without further ado, bye!